they made and one we're happy to honor. Yes. All right, in the newsroom, thank you very much. Well, they are joining forces to cut it out. Domestic violence, that is. More than 100 area salons and spas, plus a few out of state, are putting on a fundraiser for victims of the salon shooting. Our Beverly Taylor tells us it is a fundraiser that's grown beyond the organizer's imagination. We thought, wouldn't that really make a statement if 12 salons got on board to raise money for the Azana victims and to help create awareness for domestic violence? Well, the organizers went from small statement to a massive one as 116 salons and spas came on board, donating a portion of the day's receipts to a fund set up for the Azana victims at Associated Bank. Now, these are spas from the Milwaukee area, Madison, Sheboygan, and out of state. North Carolina, Georgia, California, Texas, New York, New Jersey. It's really overwhelming to see the response from the country to want to help. For client Samantha Peters, what the salons are doing is really significant because her mother was once in an abusive situation. For me, it is a big issue, and I never wanted that to happen to myself or even now with my daughter. The horror of the October 21st shooting, when gunman Radcliffe Halton walked into the Azana Spa and Salon, killing his estranged wife, stylist Zena Daniel, and two other employees, and wounding four more women before taking his own life. It all still resonates in the minds of many stylists and their clients. It was awful, heartbreaking. Um, very close to home. I've been to that salon. I grew up in Brookfield, and um, it's just, it's terrible. The fundraiser gives them a way to take action. And it spawned a lot of conversation. This is an issue that isn't talked about much, and it touches all of our lives. The statistics are actually really high. One of the things that I learned was that one in three women will be abused in their lifetime by a partner. So, 116 salons and spas are participating, donating between 5 and 25 percent of today's sales. Jan Siebold of Carenza Salon, where we are right now, is hoping that all total, it'll come up to $100,000. And it is possible if each salon and spa donates close to $1,000. We'll see. And by the way, the purple ribbons that you see, that signifies domestic abuse awareness. Reporting live from Brookfield, Beverly Taylor, Fox 6 News. Beverly, it'll be interesting to see if those purple ribbons take on life, much like the breast cancer ribbons that are pink. Just uh, thought in the days and weeks and years to come even. It's very possible. All right, Bev, thanks. Other news now. Two